Welcome back to our second hour. You know we keep our mailbox out here just in case you guys want to uh, communicate with us on Facebook. We never know what's going to be in here, so sometimes I just, you know, like when you're home, you always check the mail. Hey, guy. Oh. You've got mail. <laughs> Where's Lindsay? She always puts one of these little fake spiders in there. Here, you take, whoa, you take the spider. So here's what's coming up a little bit later, and it's my pick of the show. It's a good shot, I know. Uh, we've got disc lights. Oh, my gosh. Probably... I would say, I don't know, I'm talking to my producer, Kevin, right now. Kevin, I, these might be the most popular item that we've done all summer long. These are the amazing solar lights that will go absolutely anywhere. We're doing a six pack of these. We have them available in the round or the brand new square. You can put these, lay them on the ground, easy. If you want, you can stake them in, you don't have to. You can put them on a porch, on a patio. Light up the way, the way you walk into your house. Charge them up during the day, bring them inside. Put them near your pool, because you don't plug them in. The best solar panel built in. Look at all the little LEDs. I love this. It's only $29.95 for six. It will change your property and transform it instantly. You see all those before and afters? They are amazing. Anyway, my name's Guy. Welcome back to the show. This is our final season finale hour of Guys in the Garden. Don't worry, we'll be back again next year. We'll be back later in the fall. But you know what we try to bring, and the reason that our show is kind of coming to a close is it's still planting season, but we're right on the wire. And you know, Leaf and Petal has been producing wonderful flowers for you and for us for, for years now. And they are our go-to people. All right, I got the Gardenia tree last week and I'm telling you, the scent on my porch patio is unbelievable. These are gorgeous. I don't have many left. We aired it um, in, an, uh, in our Tuesday show. And I think a thousand of you picked up this tree in just like 10 minutes. I don't know how many I have left, but I know they are going to go. They are beautiful. Gardenia is one of those flowers, basis for probably more perfumes than any other flower out there, maybe rose just being the other, but it is amazing. I love the tree. You can trim it up like we've done here. This is like season two of the tree. This is what you're going to receive, a full out blooming gardenia tree in the bucket. When you get it home, put it in a, put it in a nice planter or you can put it in the ground. I like it in a planter, but get a good size one because it's going to grow. And the, oh, oh my gosh, Doug, the, the flowers. Doug's the guy that brings us these wonderful uh, 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 things from Leaf and Petal. The flowers are amazing. The foliage is this deep, dark green, rich green foliage. You're going to get, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one already has 12 buds on it. This is what's going to come to you in the mail. All right, it is only $49.95. If you get an HSN credit card today, we'll put $40 in your account, which means you'd pay $9.95 and a little tax because the shipping and handling is paid for by our friends at Leaf and Petal at HSN. So you don't have to worry about it, but get one of these. If you can only afford one thing, I absolutely love this. Um, I've got tomatoes growing. I've got, I have lavender growing at my house. Now I have gardenia, I have hibiscus, I have roses. And in this time where we're spending a lot of time at home, there is nothing more rewarding than walking out on your deck or patio and having one of these guys sitting out there. They are beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, let's check in with the lovely and amazingly talented Rochelle Greer. She is our garden expert. She is safe up there in Boston, but she's Skyping in and she always has so many wonderful things, tips and ideas on how you can get your garden to grow its best. Welcome, Rochelle. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? I'm wonderful. Rochelle, the aroma coming off this tree is is unbelievable it really is you know um <clears throat> living in the northern part of the country for yeah. basically all my life i don't really have this big familiarity with gardenias as people who grew up in the south might and if you uh don't know it it is such a fragrant flower in fact uh it's arguably and i think some people say it is the most uh, heavily perfumed plants in nature. So you're gonna get this amazing scent and to smell it, I've got one here and it doesn't even actually fit on camera. It's too tall, I can't get it in the shot here. Um, but here's what I think is so amazing about it. Being a Northern person, I've never seen one of these available locally. Like wow. I, I don't actually know where I would buy one. I know that down in Florida, you might find them elsewhere and you might see these in a nursery. But if you're in other parts of the country, you can't even buy these in your local store. So that's what's so exciting to me about this is that I can get this amazing, beautiful plant that, by the way, 
I can bring in this fall when it gets starts to get colder yeah. and I can have this in my house uh, and then, you know, carry it forward. This is a very long lived uh, plant. It will live for decades, uh, especially if you can put it in the ground, this, um, this can actually get, you know, down in Florida, this can be like a tree tree if you really want it. But most people like you and I would probably want to just keep it pruned up and, and in this uh, nice little lollipop shape that it comes yeah. in. So, uh, so chic, really, to it, be honest. You know, it is. And, and if you love the smell or the scent, I always say smell. I guess guys say smell, but I should say scent. The scent of gardenia. <laughs> uh, it, it'll not <laughs> thank you Rochelle for helping me uh figure it out but the the scent is unbelievable and you know what I love about it too is I don't consider gardenia just a feminine scent it is just it's an earthy rich um you know kind of like how vanilla can be you know what I mean it's just it's yeah. a very very wonderfully cool uh, scent to have around your house and if you have a porch or patio or you live in an apartment in the city get one of these and put it outside when it gets cold bring it inside put it near a window or whatever you got to do but but yeah. it is it is an amazing extra sort of thing to have and i love the look of it i love that how we've trimmed it up and when you order i'm going to grab your uh, your brochure really quick when you order Leaf and Petal is gonna give you one of these brochures. And please don't be like, oh, I heard gardenias are really hard to take care of. They're not, okay, they're really, trust me. When I started gardening, I, I'm a very impatient person and I don't follow a lot of instruction well <laughs> sometimes. So <laughs> having this makes it really, really easy. And inside here, it tells you everything you need to know how to grow it. The back, it says, you know, fuller part sun. So you can put this indoors if it gets a little bit of sun. It says here, uh, it tells you your hardiness, what type of plant it is, all the other information that you need, you're gonna get. Plus you have the dedicated phone number that you can call anytime. But get this before it sells out. It's, it's easily in my, probably my top three things that we have here is, one, is the gardenia is one. I love the hibiscus. It's hard to pick because now I love that desert rose thing. And the ponytail palm. I'm falling in love. <laughs> I'm becoming an incredible gardener right before your eyes, Rochelle. What's going on here? It's so exciting. <laughs> hey, you know what else is so great about this gardenia tree? Um, this is a different variety. Uh, we have two gardenia choices that you can get through Leaf and Petal on HSN. Uh, the other one is the dwarf gardenia, um, which stays nice and compact, more like a small house plant. This one is a different variety. It's called Amy, and it is... Uh, you, the reason we chose it is because you can actually prune it into this tree much easier than the other one. But here's the better, even better thing about it. Uh, most uh, gardenias have, uh, they're not small blooms, but they're like maybe two or two and a half inches in diameter. They're, they're, they're good size, but they're not huge. This uh, variety, this Amy variety that uh, we've pruned into this tree, they're like four inches wide the, the, in diameter. They're much bigger than your average gardenia bloom, which is even more fragrance, even more of that beautiful kind of velvet, <laughs> luscious flower, you know? Oh my gosh. This is a really good idea. In fact, this is what I do uh, for my mom. Um, my mom my mom w is dying for a gardenia tree so badly and I have one home, so I'm gonna get her one. But in the meantime, what you can do is you can take gardenia blossoms and put them in water and bring them inside and the, the, the aroma, I mean, it's like having incense in your house without having to light anything. It is unbelievable. Yeah. And I love that you can do that, right? For a party or a get together at your house when we start doing that, or even just for yourself. Maybe you're in the kitchen and you're like, what is that scent? You're like, oh my gosh, they brought, we brought gardenia blossoms in the house. You could, um, you know, when you do have people over, you could put this um, in the powder room and just leave it there as a, a natural deodorizer yeah. in the powder room. Yeah. It truly is amazing. And you know what's funny is this, this uh, the one that you're gonna get, which is this one here, um, uh, uh, to be honest, it only, has, it only has three blossoms on it right now. One is opening up in the back and then about another eight or nine. Just these three blossoms are, are perfuming this whole area. I mean, just these little, just these three. And look at the condition of it when you get it. Deep green, you'll box. see the buds are on it already. You're ready to go, Rochelle. Yeah, yeah, they really, uh, when mine arrived, it comes in the same box that our braided hibiscus tree comes in, which is quite a box. I mean, I'm 5'10", and it's almost as tall as me. Uh, so opening that box is just so much fun. But then when I pulled this out of the box, this is easily a foot taller. I mean, this is like a four-foot out-of-the-box yeah. tree. It's a tree, yeah. Which is so fun. I, I mean, that the fact that this will arrive on your front doorstep 
in a box, a tree. I, I don't know. I just, I like getting things in the mail, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Who doesn't? Well, you know what's neat too? Like, but, why don't I get enough things in the mail? <laughs> Rochelle, you know what's great is that you, you know, if you're giving this as a gift, which you can do, and I've done it before. I do it. I, I've done it. My my son's girlfriend, Lily. I send her. I send her stuff all the time because her and her mom lo love having their garden together, and they're they're really uh, you know they're quarantined. They're going a little crazy. So I've been getting them garden stuff. They said it's so nice to open a box and have something alive inside. They're like, oh my gosh. Totally. And when you open this up, it's a big box. Okay, it comes in a tall it's box. It's a big box. It'll all be covered. You know, in plastic. It'll be all healthy. It'll be in the soil in its pot. You'll open it up and you'll be like, oh my gosh, is there, there's a tree in here. Remember <laughs> this though, get it out of the container, you know, within the first yes. couple of days and get it into a big pot. And I would yep. get a pot that's twice the size of at least of, of what it comes in. Do you think that's that good? Yeah, so that it has room to grow. If you want to plant it into the ground, like Rochelle said, well, you're gonna have a full out gardenia tree and it'll grow as big as you want. But for most people out there that, that maybe have to deal with seasonal change or live in a, an apartment or just have a deck or a patio, I'll tell you, you put two of these out by your swimming pool this summer, oh my goodness. Uh -huh amazing Gosh, right what an amazing thing yeah you know i love candles too and this when one of these are around like i don't want to light the candle this is just it, uh, it just fills the air so completely and i have a big patio it only takes i just have this one uh, and it just i've already had it out there i had to bring it in because it still might get too cold for it but i uh, just sitting out there while i was doing some other potting up it was just that brought me that sense of summer and life and, you know, beautiful plants and all of those things that I'm just craving, you know, as I want to get outside and really, you know, dig into the season. It's really nice. Yeah, and it's so different from, from uh, many of the other things that we offer. <clears throat> you know, yeah. you're, you're gonna start off when you, you get this, um, you're gonna see the little buds. And if you come where my hand is, I'll put my hand behind a bud right here on this tree. And you'll see there is, there's how it starts. You see that bud right there in the center? That's how it starts. And then it starts to open like this and you'll see it'll start to uncurl itself. And then it goes almost, it's fun that we actually have three and three different, uh, or four, four different levels here. It'll start to unfurl. And then finally it'll get to the point where it opens up super, super wide like our, our tall tree here and it releases that aroma the whole time. It is beautiful and it'll grow yeah. very, very quickly. But as I said before, for people that live in apartments, it's ideal. If you have a swimming pool and you wanna put it out in the yard there, it's, it's great for that too. You can trim it up like we've done with these. We've kind of like mm -hmm. snipped away uh, and just kind of made it like the lollipop tree. But for $49, it's a great deal. It ships to you absolutely free. If you wanna get it for $9.95, we have an HSN credit card promotion that we're doing. And I don't know why you don't have, if you don't have a card right now, come on, what's the matter? Get a card, it doesn't cost you nothing, there's no minimum, there's no finance charges, you just get to pay things off over time. We'll take $40 off the Gardein, you get it for $9.95 plus tax, because shipping is on the house. All right, we're gonna continue on and Rochelle is gonna stay with us. And I will tell you, uh, Rochelle, and I am, I am very, very excited uh, about this item, mainly because I have it at home. And you know, it's funny, I never thought I would appreciate having lavender at the house. I make my own little potpourri for the house. You can, <laughs> you can um, use a lavender to cook with. It makes the most amazing uh, muffins. If you wanna do lavender muffins, they're oh. amazing. Um, not, yeah. only, not only the flowers, but the plant itself. Uh, these are a butterfly magnet. What you are looking at is beautiful live, like compact little flowers that have so much lavender. And when they, you can, you can dry these, but you know what's really wonderful about this um, particular um, version of ours? It's because it's, it's a brand new version, is that it is super hardy. It grows anywhere in the United States. And I love that you can actually cut these. You can cut these and put them in a bouquet, or you can hang them upside down, tie them with a little bit of, yep. of uh, you know, of ribbon and let them dry naturally. But man, $21.95 in free shipping. Everybody, everybody out there should be ordering lavender. 
Yeah. You know, um, they, these ones are called, this variety is called sensational, a uh, little play on words, because this one is, um, all lavender is very, I mean, it's known for its scent, um, but this one is even more so. And the reason is because uh, this particular variety is, uh, it's a cross between the French lavender and the English lavender. You're getting kind of the best of both worlds there, and it is bred for the American market. So it's kind of this all-American lavender. But one of the things they bred for was those bigger flowers. Yes. So, uh, and also they're um, they're very beautifully two-toned. So when their um, buds are closed up, they're like this dark purple, and then they open out into this lighter purple. So you get this beautiful two-tone. But they're um, if you compared these buds and flowers to uh, your typical lavender that you're probably used to seeing in your garden, uh, these are you know, an inch or more longer and yeah. they're chubby. I mean, they're, they're literally, <laughs> they're, they're so much more uh, visually impactful yes. while they're in your garden, but also they carry with them so much more of the oils and the scent that we yeah. grow them for, which, I mean, so it is just a, they, it is a pow kind of lavender. They're easily three to four times bigger than traditional lavender flowers, easily. Yeah. And they're easily. easily four to five times bigger around. I mean, Get more yeah. bang for your buck with this. It's $21. If you always wanted to try lavender, it's not hard to grow. They make excellent cut flowers. And I love the foliage. It has a silver green tone to it and it offsets that purple beautifully. These are mm -hmm. super hardy. And I, as a person who now I can call myself a lavender grower, I will tell you, there's always flowers on it. And now I'm in Florida, yeah. granted, but there is always lavender on it. And um, my, my uh, son's girlfriend, Lily, comes over and she's always looking. She loves the lavender, I think, more than anything. She's like, oh my gosh, lavender, it's so beautiful. I think mainly because most people don't grow it. They don't think about it. They think, oh, that's Provence, that's France. You, know, you can grow lavender. You can, you can harvest lavender. You, you can take those flower petals off and you can break them up and put them in a bowl and put them in the powder room or use them to, to season with. I mean, lavender, mm -hmm. look up lavender, like lavender icing on a cake. Are you kidding oh. me? It's unbelievable. Lavender lemonade, I love it. Just yeah. sprinkle some lemonade, it's so tasty. Yeah. Just a whole different kind of uh, summer refreshing drink. It just gives you that relaxing. And by the way, lavender is, uh, if, you, if you were buying things to kind of aid in sleep and relaxation, uh, like at a spa or, or you, know, uh, you know, one of those stores that has all the lotions and potions, that smell that is um, often put into those things that are for relaxing is lavender. So um, that is a scent that has this kind of naturally calming sort of um, uh, feel to it, um, which is which is why, you know, we want to, we, we desire to grow this. But here's what I, I, honestly, Guy, I mean, if you wanted to buy a whole bunch of these, I would say go for it. These would make an excellent, um, you, you know, you can make even a little hedge for them. Yeah. But even if you just bought one, I would put this in a container and I would put it in a container that maybe is 12 inches, easily moved, and just move it wherever you move your chair because yeah. having it next to you is, uh, it's just... It's just such a nice, relaxing it is. set. And it's, you just want to enjoy it. And it, one plant is all you need, really. I think this is one of those plants you would you would classify in the spiritual world because it is, you're right. Which is why they use this, uh, they use lavender in spas, right? You always see a mixture of lavender um, and some, you know, other uh, eucalyptus, things like that. Very spa-like. I just wanted to show everybody what you will be getting. Um, and the one that you're looking at in the bucket is probably season two for most of you. Mine is as big as the one in the bucket and I got my lavender last year. And when it starts to grow, it will continue to grow forever and ever. Truly is yeah. an amazing plant and one that not everybody has, but I think everybody should have. Anyway, yeah. we're gonna move on to our last flower of the year for us. Uh. I know, <laughs> Rochelle, I can't believe it. It's, it went by so quick. You know, we started, it when did, did we start it? Like March? And March. April, May, we've had a few months here, but it's been so successful. And again, I want to thank you again, Rochelle. You did such, you've always done such a wonderful job at explaining all the nuances. And I think also taking away a lot of the fear people have in gardening, which is you can do this. You know, if you could, hey, listen, if, you, if you've got kids or grandkids or pets or whatever, if you can raise them, you can raise flowers very easily. Yeah. This is our brand new one piece red sensation hydrangea. What a show, jam-packed with the most beautiful 
rich, almost like a purpley red lipstick, red flower, compact, low maintenance, easy to grow, and you're gonna get these beautiful, large, dramatic blossoms. Rochelle, this is beautiful. These are really gorgeous, and I wow. love that they are so unique. When you think of hydrangeas, you often think of um, the pink and the blue, and then sometimes the white. Um, but this one is really, really unique because of the red. This is how yeah. the blooms will come out in this sort of red sh shade. But then they will age through the season and they'll get to be this even more pretty, in my opinion, like deep, dark purple. And uh, and as we know, hydrangea blooms, they, uh, you know, they age really well on the plant, but they also make absolutely gorgeous, long-lasting dried flowers. They'll dry right on the plant or if yeah. you cut them off. I mean, I keep them in my house all the, all the time really as just a dried bouquet um, these are gonna like that shady spot too so many of what we offer here requires um, you know a lot of sun uh, so this is one of those exceptions if you have a if you have a shady spot this is gonna really love it it will fill out really nicely and be a uh, a great shrub it's gonna get about two to three feet tall and about maybe three to five feet wide a little bit wider yeah. than tall so it's it's kind of a low middle of the border thing just will load itself up with long lasting blooms that, as I said, just the, to me, the real key to this is the color of those blooms. And by the way, these leaves are just ridiculous. These yeah. leather cool leaves. Uh, but then that aging to the purple. And here's the other thing. People always, uh, I always get this question with um, design clients. Um, they have hydrangeas, they love hydrangeas. And, but for whatever, they, they don't know why, but their, their hydrangeas aren't blooming. And I'll tell you why. If you have a hydrangea that isn't blooming, it's probably because it's an older variety that uh, doesn't have the benefits of new breeding, which this does. The new breeding uh, makes uh, hydrangeas bloom on new wood. We call it new wood. Wood, uh, the branching that grew this year. And the reason why that's key is because it doesn't have a lot of time to get damaged. And that's what typically happens, particularly up here in the north. Something happens, either it gets hit by somebody. If anything happens to the end of those little branches, they won't bloom. So what often happens is people, it's like a late cold, they'll get too cold or an early yeah. frost, they get damaged then the next year you won't get blooms and you have that whole two years you gotta wait again. So if you want something that's always gonna bloom, you want something that's gonna bloom on this new wood like yeah. these. Yeah, that it's reliable. We had, we had 500. Kevin tells me we have about 300 left. This will probably sell yeah. out in this airing, but if you love that rich red color and you love something that realistically you're getting, you get a lot of bang for your buck with this one because of the size and the density of the <laughs> flowers of hydrangea, but very unique with this color. Normally when you see them, you see them in the white and the off pink and, and, and the purple. These are a real kind of a deep, deep, rich red. So if you love that color, you're $22.95, all right? When you get it, you're gonna get this, and it's gonna, this is probably season two or three, but they will already start to be flowering. I love that they These come like healthy. this because they come super duper healthy. Look at how healthy that plant is. Not like, the, not like the ones you get picked over in the store, so get it while you can. Rochelle, I will thank you again. You are the best, appreciate you so much, and I look forward to spending many, many years uh, with you, and hopefully when we get you back here, uh, we'll get to see you uh, in person. But thanks again for a great I'm season. To it. All right, Thank honey. you. Take Thank care. You. It's been fun. You know it. All right, see you a little later. Hey, really quick, I wanna talk about Spray and Grow. We don't have time to do an airing today, but let me tell you, this is the key to a successful garden. Magic in a bottle, developed by farmers to get better yield from their produce and from their plants. This does the same for you, whether it's flowers, tomatoes, fruits, veggies. It is vitamins for the plant. You spray it on the plant, it's absorbed through the plant's skin. It's gonna give you giant herb gardens, big giant juicy tomatoes, veggies, uh, uh, herbs, whatever it is, flowers, bigger blossoms. Spray it on everything, a little bit goes a long way. You got 90 days to try it. I recommend you get one of our sprayers to go along with it, but I have a couple of sizes. Try it out for $16.95. You already know you love it. You can use it on your grass, too, by the way. If you want to see your grass like it's never been, get the gallon size. But this stuff is easy, and it works. You got 90 days to try it. Bottom of the bottle, guarantee. Well, don't plant a garden, you know, if you don't expect, you know, to, to, to work a little. This is just spraying it on the outside. It's easy, and you'll love it. Item number 072251. All right. 
So it's late in the season, and I am very excited to have something new in the shell. But it makes sense, right? Um, we're going to be uh, going outside, and we're going to be taking care of our beautiful plants. The one thing that we don't talk about very often is weed control. Getting rid of the things, the dandelions and the terrible things that are affecting your garden, your grass, your flower beds, whatever it is, right? The clover, all that stuff that gets all over the place. Well, from the people that bought us No More Bugs, uh, which is naturally green, they now bring us No More Weeds, all right? Which is a naturally green formula that is going to get rid of the weeds in your garden beds, in the cracks, in the crevices, in the pool area, in the mulch. You get a 128 ounce supply of this. So we went right and said, let's do a jumbo. Everybody's got weeds and they're looking for a better way to get rid of them. You know, that, that, the, the, there's all kinds of terrible, weird, toxic things out there. We're looking for a better way to be able to get rid of the weeds. This is the way to do it. Look at the amount that you get, all right? Comes with the sprayer, everything that you need to connect it and spray those bugs so you get a nice stream. You can do stream or spray. It's only $24.95 today. This is probably enough to last you at least one season, maybe two. 711041. Linda Lyday, standing by somewhere. Where's Linda? There she is. Linda's hey. here. Hey, I'm excited. You know, you know how much I love naturally green for bugs. Yeah. I mean, I'm, right. I'm just as excited to try this on the weed problem that I have. Absolutely. So you guys, this is an all natural product. Now this is a USDA bio-based certified product. Well, that means the United States Department of Agriculture says it is safe for you, safe for mother earth. Yes. No glyphosate. OK, no chemicals. This is a vinegar base is a proprietary blend and it has a carbon based ingredient that has a stick and say, uh, stick and say stick and stay quality to it. So when you spray it on your weed, it's going to literally stay on the leaf and then it dries it out. Now you're getting a gallon, right? And the gallon you're going to be getting is going to have this sprayer. The sprayer is 36 inches, and what I want you to do is you'll put it down, then you you screw the cap on, and now you have this 30 inch, 36 inch hose, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to go around. Now be very, when, when you go to spray weeds, make sure that if you have those beautiful flowering plants that you just bought, here's the deal. Make sure that you don't use the spray, use the stream on here because you have that adjustment on here. And what I want you to do, because whether it's brick patio, whether it's around your pool, Mother Nature has a beautiful way of just coming through the craziest places when you think there's no way anything can grow. So I want you to direct it and spray right on it if you have a plant around it, go down right to it, okay? I want you to go right down to the actual weed itself and spray down because that's gonna get down to the roots and it's also gonna get on the leaf and it's not going to hurt your plant at all. Remember, this is safe. This is safe for the environment. This is safe for you. One of the things that I have a pet peeve about is this weed barrier. Now tell me if you're like this. You put the... And I find this like, you know, when, when I start to put this down on a, you know, on a, my bed or underneath bark or whatever it is, why is it that this is a weed barrier yet runner grass can grow up underneath it? I, I had this problem at my mom's house where I'd have to go there every couple of weeks and we would have to like go and weed out. Now, what I would do is I would pull it from the root, so I thought, right? You don't have to do that anymore. This is gonna work in 24 hours. A natural product without glyphosate. You can literally get right on your weed. You just spray it, spray it along there, and in 24 hours, that is gonna dry up and it's gonna go away. And you don't have to worry about your health. You don't have to worry about mother nature's health. Right. This is safe and it's so effective. Yeah, you know what I love about it too? Cause I've, I've I got a sample, we tried it. 
is, is yeah. you know, with that carbon-based formula, how it sticks to the weeds. Normally, when you spray right. some of those other weird chemically, whatever they are, you know, you're, half of it is going on the ground. None of it, you know, you're, you're, you're just trying to hit the plant. This is a very sticky formula that sticks to the weed and basically rides mm -hmm. on the weed uh, as long as it takes to kill the weed. So you're not going to worry. You don't have to worry much about sprinkler systems and rain and all that stuff. It sticks to the weed. And for my money, right. and I'll tell you, and you know, Linda, how I feel about Naturally Green. It's one of my favorite products that we have here. I use it. I, it's my bug spray. I love that stuff. Not this, but the, oh, yeah. the Naturally Green for bugs. Um, what I love about it is I feel good about using it. I'm not worried about pets. I'm not wor worried about, obviously, your, your family, your kids. We read things all the time, hear things, see things on TV about all the, the, the terrible things that can be out there that are no good for us. Yeah, they work, That's but they're right. not good for us. This is a product, as we said, bio-based, that is gonna get rid of the weeds. And, and you know, listen, you spend a lot of time on your garden. You don't wanna spend right. half your time pulling weeds. Not only that, weeds are a thing you gotta bend over to deal with. Not with <laughs> this, just shoot them on the ground, let it, sit, right. let it sit for a day, and they will just naturally die and fall back and become part of the ground again, which is, which is great. And you'll get the entire plant. So if you want it, and, and Linda, let me tell you this too. This is a lot of product for 25 bucks. I mean, you're getting, what, a gallon of product here? 128 ounces of product. That's probably enough for most people for at least one season, Linda. Well, yeah. It, um, well, it depends how big your property is, too, right? And how many right. weeds, I suppose, you have. But you're absolutely right. Now, think about that. The sidewalks, the curbs, pavers, patios, your mulch beds around your pool. The last thing you want to do is have weeds around the pool. Decks, playgrounds, concrete, retaining walls, landscape. Now, think about the weeds that this is going to get, go after, right? It's going to uh, it's going to get the uh, uh, chickweed, the thistle, the grasses that you don't want. Like, remember I was talking about that runner grass? That stuff can literally run from way over here, go up underneath my weed barrier, right? and can shoot up through. And I can tell you because that's exactly what happened over at my mother's house. So I have, you know, I have this underneath here. And this is just to simulate, yes, whether it's bark or mulch or whatever, Mother Nature is has tenacity like nobody's business. We love that about her. However, when it comes to weeds and we want our nice flowering plants, we want to make sure that we just see those flowers that we want and not to encroach it with all the weeds. So again, if you're just tuning in, this is a vinegar-based product. This is safe for you. It has a proprietary blend. It has a carbon-based ingredient that actually, when you spray it on the weed, it has a stick-and-stay ability so that it's going to dry it out within 24 hours. Now, the U.S. Department of Agriculture gave it the certificate of bio-based certified. Now, that is no simple task. That is something where they really look at this and say, is this safe for you and the environment? So what I want you to do is I want you, if you don't have any flowering plants, then guess what? You can just spray, can stand up and spray. But if you want to, if you have a beautiful plant like you just bought, you have geraniums, you get right down and spray it right on there and get down into that root and give it a little spray, okay? Doesn't take a lot, right? Remember, this is going to go seep down into the root and it's going to dry it out. You have a 36 inch hose. It's going to come with it. When you get your gallon, you're going to remove the top and your hose is gonna be in this plastic bag here. You're gonna take it out and you're going to literally put it right in the gallon and there you have it. When it's time to store it, all you do is you put, this is what I do, I just put the hose right back in right here on it. and then I set it like awesome. that. Awesome. Linda, this is a great yes. product. We, we started, we had about 1,100. My producer Kevin says we're down to the final couple hundred left, so it's probably gonna sell out. Um, you got no 90 surprise. days, you got plenty of time to try it. And you know, Naturally Green is one of those items we're so used to relying on nasty, terrible, toxic chemicals. Give this a try, all right? You have nothing to lose. If it doesn't work for you, you can send it back on 90 days. It's at least a summer supply for everybody out there and then some, but try it out. It's a more natural way to be able to take care of weeds. We're already taking care of bugs with our today's special. We're also taking care of bugs with no more bugs for, for our other things as well. This is a great, great way to get the kind of one-two punch to take care of your garden. Linda, thank you so much. Appreciate you as always. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day All right, weekend. Thanks, honey. All right, we'll see you later. All right, we're stepping away.
we've got a pressure washer, 2,000 PSI, under 100 bucks. Coming your way next. There is nothing quite like shopping with a friend. So pull up a chair and shop with us. We'll be dishing the scoop on what's hot. Catch you up on what you missed. And share some of our favorite discoveries. Come shop with us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. I'm on a hunt for the things that make life easier. You know, the products you can't live without. It's all about having the right tool for the right job. Come join me every Saturday at 7 a.m. to find out what makes me say, now that's clever. You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So the first time I got a pressure washer, which was a couple of years ago, uh, might have even been longer than that, from HSN, pretty much changed the way I cleaned around the house. Um, and now, Danny pretty much hogs it all the time when he, when he washes his car. The good news is when he washes his car, I make him wash my car. But there's nothing like having a pressure washer out there. You attach it easily to your hose. It takes your hose pressure of basically 60 PSI and it ramps it up to 2,000 PSI. If you need to get bug grime or things off your car, off your shutters, if you need to clean anything, boat, RV, SUV, anything you need, Sun Joe, with their incredible two-year warranty, is providing us with a 2,000 PSI pressure washer for under $100, $32 off today. Shipping is only seven and change. Get this home, all the attachments are included. The high-powered nozzle, the fan nozzle, the, uh, the uh, little hook tip which will go underneath fenders and things like that or hook into your, um, into your gutters to get all the leaves and debris out. There's that little, um, that little uh, spiraling jet that goes around thousands of times in a, in a minute and it eats away all the dirt and grime. If you're trying to get, um, you know, maybe winter off of your furniture or winter off of your house or your shutters, or it could be, you know what I used mine for last week? The awnings. My awnings were dirty and I used it on the awnings. I didn't even use the soapy water. I just went with water and it cleaned all the mold and mildew off that as well. Called Sun Joe, great company. You get a two year warranty to go along with it. This is an amazing way to be able to get great pressure washing in the convenience of your own home without breaking the bank. Um, Justin Hyatt is standing by before we get to him. You, got you even have color choices. This is like clearance, but with color choices. We call it our smart deal, red, green or blue. Everybody that orders is gonna get the Easy Trigger Lance Sprayer. What I love about this is it only turns on when you squeeze the trigger, automatically turns off. This is all electric, no gas, no oil, no fumes. Good, better for the environment, don't worry about that. The extender wand which attaches to this right here. This is all the tips that you get. So as I said, you can get the jet tip, you get the fan tip, you get that little uh, tip that curls up underneath so you can get underneath hard to reach areas. Plenty of hose, everything that you could possibly need. All you do is plug it into your regular garden hose and you're good to go. Let me introduce you to my buddy, special guest, Justin Hyatt standing by at the Hyatt Estate and he's gonna show you just how easy it is to use this. Justin, 100 bucks for a pressure washer, 2000 PSI, slam dunk brother. It totally is. You know, one of the reasons why people have stayed away from electric is because it hasn't been as powerful as gas, and that's not the case anymore. Yeah. So you don't have to break the bank, and you still have 2,000 PSI. You know what your hose gives you? About 50, 60 PSI. You get 2,000 PSI with this. Under 100 bucks for a 2,000 PSI pressure washer, completely electric. You don't have to worry about that gas anymore. You don't have to worry about any of that loud noise because it's on right now, and it'll only turn on when I actually pull that trigger. You have all those nozzles that come included. I'm gonna show you the first one really quickly. This is gonna be your adjustable nozzle. But look how easy and small this is. It's got wheels. We can basically take this anywhere we want. I'm gonna take you over. The Hyatt Estate needs some cleaning, okay? Because it's been a rough 
Sweet. It's been on some rough days here. I'm going to take you to the garage door first. This is the adjustable nozzle. You notice how it's got that fan spray? I can easily twist that nozzle and give me that turbo spray and start knocking all that off. Look at that. You know what I love? It gets in all the cracks, all the crevices. I mean, you don't have to get up there with a scrub brush. You don't have to deal with any of that. You just turn it on, plug it in, turn it on. Look at that. Yeah. They I mean, isn't that the nicest thing? I mean, really, there's basically minimal setup. How about your fences? We, we all have fences that we get brand new fences. Before we know it, it looks like an old fence again. Well, you can bring that old fence back to life with that adjustable nozzle. And then you can see it's just taking years off. Look at that. Man. And I can tell that is that is really old weathered wood. <laughs> that you're, you, know, you can't create that. That is real old weathered wood. Uh, you know, we used it, I used mine uh, about three weeks ago. I had Danny go out there and he, I had a, I have a fence in the backyard covered in, it was, I didn't put the fence in, it was there when I bought the property, but I'd never done anything to it and it had green, it had like a greenish gray mold over it. Unbelievable, the wood that was revealed is actually regular, like, like you just <laughs> bought it from the store. It's actually hiding underneath there. And, you know, normally when I, I let a fence weather, if it stays like that kind of, you know, uh, kind of Cape Cod gray, but this was like green. It looked terrible. Cleaned it up right away. What I love uh, about this one too, uh, Justin, is anybody can use this. You have a very easy trigger mechanism right here. You just give it a little squeeze. So I'll take mine and I've got one of the attachments on the bottom and all you do, and notice it's completely silent. It doesn't idle like one you might rent from a store. And all you do is squeeze the trigger. I got the fan blade on and I want you to see how this cleans that piece of wood and the closer you get, the more powerful it'll be. I'll go right in the middle of this piece and I'll show you. Now that is real mold and mildew and I'll just do a section right there and you see how easily it cleans that off. If you got pavers, you know, pavers are a nightmare. You know, maybe you got some uh, grease or grime or stuff from your car, your auto, maybe it's in your garage and you wanna clean that out. Use this attachment and watch how it will clean the dirt. The grime just literally blows it away, revealing nice clean pavers underneath. I'll only do half to show you. Look at how beautiful that is. I can continue over and I can do areas of the house. I'll do that in a sec, but let me remind everybody. We never, it's been, I don't even remember the last time we even did an 18 or 1600 PSI at under $100. This is 2000 PSI. It's powerful, okay? So when you use this, I wouldn't give this to little kids. I mean, it's a powerful machine but it's great for doing your car, your boat, your RV. You don't wanna use the, uh, the um, express nozzle when you're doing your car, boat, you know, a painted surface, because that's for cement and for stucco and things like that. But we've got all the attachments for your car, everything that you're gonna need, soap it up, rinse it off, it'll be unbelievable. And here's the kicker. Today, we just reactivated our $40 gift card when you get an HSN credit card. So when you open account, we'll put $40 in, if, you, if you're approved for the first time, put $40 in your account, making this the most affordable pressure washer anywhere in the market. <laughs> I don't know where, you can't buy a uh, uh, 2,000 PSI pressure washer for $59. You just can't. You're going to get it today. And I love, uh, Justin, that it comes with all the different attachments, including that little angle attachment, right? Yeah, that, that one is really cool. It's that 90 degree, 90 degree attachment. So you need to get under, you know, it's just hard to reach places like a lot of your patio furniture or your cars, a lot of your stationary things. You can get underneath there. If you go mudding, if you know anybody who's, you know, it's just great little added, added tip. And I want to show you how easy it is to change those tips. So we have the adjustable nozzle. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to simply pull this down, pop that one off. And now I'm going to take you to the, uh, the spinning one. So this one just simply twists right in here. You were talking about all the different pavers and wood. You know, fencing is one of the wood things in our yard, but how about a lot of our patio furniture that is wood? We had somebody had an old bench that we just completely restored. Our decking, I'm gonna take you down to the decking. I wanna show you. This is going to take all of this and it's going to seriously take all of that and blow all of it away. Wow. It's pretty impressive. No doubt. And you can do this at home. You know what I love <clears throat> really about a pressure washer? Of all the power tools you can buy, <clears throat> it really is probably one of the easiest to learn. Because <laughs> all you gotta do is pull the trigger. There are two connections, one to the electrical supply, and you take your garden hose and plug it into the other connection. That's all you need to do. And then you just pull the trigger. 
It's that easy. I'm gonna give you a tip when you first start it up, when you squeeze it, if air comes out and it spits a little bit, that's just, it's getting primed and the water has to get through the system. Don't worry about that, that's completely normal. And then the water will kick in and you'll be good to go. Let me show you one of the other things I like to do. If you've got a, uh, a maybe your house or your boat or your RV, I mean, think about how else would you wash that? You'd have to get a, a soap bucket and wash it up. And you can always soap things up ahead of time if you wanna do that and rinse them off using your pressure washer. But I, most of the time I don't even bother because you've got such great power that you really don't have to worry. And I'll try not to get Daniel. Careful, Daniel. He's running the camera. I don't want to get him wet. I know those cameras are worth some money. So I'm going to go over here, right? Yeah. There we go. But I'm just giving you an idea of how quickly and how easily this cleans. Look at this. And I'm using just the fan blade. I'm not even using, or the fan attachment. I'm not using the most powerful. What about windows? Look at this. I'm doing windows with one hand. Oh my gosh, look it. All the way down, imagine how easy that's gonna be in your house. And by the way, if you have a tough area, go in closer. That increases the pressure and the power. So like right here, you see I got some real grime right there. I can turn it sideways and get in every crack, every crevice very easily. And then I pull back when I wanna cover more area. It's that easy. And look at that. I mean, I'm done. Now, if I was doing that with a soap and bucket and a regular garden hose, <laughs> that would probably take half an hour, right? And I did it in, what was that? Two minutes, maybe? That's all I did. It's, I mean, it's easy to do, as I said, of all the different um, you know, power tools that we have here. Um, and, even, you know, and we have them across the board because you know we have Sunjo, we have Works, we have Earthwise, we have all different uh, great brands. Um, I will tell you, this, this, these are the easiest ones to use. I, I do pole saws too, and I think those are pretty easy. A little people get a little nervous about a saw, but this, nothing to be nervous about. Popping out the attachments, easy. Turn, pull off, put on, twist. It's all you need to do. It's very economical because it doesn't run on a combustion engine, so it's not idling and sitting there. And, and you know, I'm not gonna, what am I gonna go to the home store today and I'm gonna rent a pressure washer? What do they charge for a pressure washer for the day? What, 75 bucks maybe? Why would I do that when I can own one for $99? And if you're looking for great gifts, when's Father's Day? Father's Day's coming up, right? What day is it? I forgot what it is. 21st. Father's Day's coming up. But get this for dad, man, he'd love this. Don't get me one, I already have one, but, you, but get one for your dad, or if you're a dad and you wanna buy it for yourself, it's a great gift. And I will tell you, the good thing is, everybody, and here's what's, what kinda sucks for dad, everybody in the family will use it. Your kids will use it to wash their car. Uh, your, your, your sons and daughters, your wives, your husbands, whoever you're buying this today, they will wanna use it. And your neighbors will see that you have one and they'll be like, man, he's got a pressure washer, check that out. And there's no better way to clean large areas and really tough problems than with a pressure washer. The only way I ever got stains off my driveway was with a pressure washer. The only way I got stains off my, pave, my uh, garden patio um, stones, because I have these big, they look like um, sand dollars, and they walk out to my outdoor shower. Those things were green and black. When I bought them, they were white. They looked like a sand dollar. The only thing that got them back to the pristine condition, because I tried scrubs, I tried bleach, nothing would work, and then I talked to a friend of mine who knew a lot about chemical stuff, and he goes, eh, there's no chemical that's gonna get in there, it's porous. You gotta get a pressure washer. It's the only way. Pressure washer will get deep down in every nook and cranny, it'll get all the grime out. It works on hard surfaces. It works on fabrics. A lot of you are nervous about washing your awnings, right? Because you're worried about putting any kind of chemical on there that might bleach it out, use a pressure washer, right? You wanna clean tires and make them sparkle? A boat, an RV, a motorcycle, a bicycle? You, uh, anything, a pressure washer is the answer. All right, I got a minute left. I'm gonna toss it back to Justin, let him wrap things up. But Justin, I'm telling you, you get a lot of bang for your buck with this guy too, don't you? You do, I wanna do the grand finale and show you just how beautiful this is gonna be after we clean out this carpet. You can see that this is actually white carpet under here. So if you even have some old rugs, old carpet that you wanna get cleaned up, you can start to reveal some of that old beautiful color. A pressure washer secretly is one of the easiest, easiest things that you can have 
to be able to clean up your whole entire yard and the fact that you're saving on water and today you're saving on money and you're getting one of the most powerful pressure washers out there on the market from Sun Gel, who is one of the top pressure washer companies across the country and electric. Don't have to worry about gas. It's easy. Store it and don't have to worry about storing gas with it also. Oh, yeah. And you know what? It comes with a two-year warranty. Try it out for 90 days. You have our extended warranty here at HSN. Enjoy it. It's a great, great extra tool to have. You're going to use it all summer long. You probably use it all year long uh, because it's great. also great at cleaning up around your pool. You're going to love that. Justin, great job. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate you uh, Skyping you. in. Hey, by the way, red, green, blue, any color, same price, 99 bucks on, uh, basically on sale. Smart deal of the day. Grab this while you can. Hey, congratulations to all of you that picked up um, um, Naturally Green. No more weeds. Sold out. Very first airing. Gone. Thousand gone in about eight minutes. Good for you. We'll get that back. All right, guess what's next? My pick of this hour. One really a hard choice. Everybody loves disc lights. They've been the hottest item so far in our gardening shows, um, consistently selling out every time. Why? Well, it's the most affordable way to get solar lighting on your property. And this is not just any solar light. The most durable, the best made, giant uh, monocrystalline panel, super bright jam-packed LEDs in here. Plus they light from the ground up, which I love for landscape lighting. Don't get me wrong, I love my regular, I have regular lights in the front of the yard, regular um, old school um, solar lights. But in the backyard, I have these disc lights. They go in the grass because they lay flat. You have your choice of either round or square. We introduced the square, they went crazy for that as well. But they, either size, doesn't matter, they work the same. You're gonna get six of these for $29. Normally when you think about sets of solar lights, you're 70, 80, 90 dollars. These are not the little rip-off models that are made of plastic that you see out, uh, you know, in some of the closeout stores or in some of the home stores. These are the original Bell & Howell. These are that incredible stainless material, virtually indestructible, lifetime battery, never replace bulbs, packed with those super bright LEDs. All you do is lay them on the ground or stake them in the ground. Before we get to uh, our special guest, let me show you some of the landscapes that we treated these with. We're gonna run um, some of our footage here and show you these. Unbelievable how pretty they are. When you look at the before and after, watch. What? It even gets better, watch, there's even more, what? Anywhere you need light, you're gonna get super duper bright light. And they'll hang in any direction, you can stick them to a wall. So if you wanna put them around your pool, they come with a little sticky stuff. You can lay them on the ground. You can use them as your barbecue light. All right, they are truly unbelievable. Now, before we get to our guest, do we have, was it Lou standing by today? Before we get to Lou, I wanna show you the colors. So they come in white, they come in stainless. Okay, over here, you're looking at uh, what we call gold, stainless, bronze, and black. And the bronze kind of looks like copper, and the gold kind of looks like bronze, but don't worry. Gold, stainless, uh, bronze, black. Square, what do I have left in square? Only stainless steel left in square. 400 orders left in the stainless steel. And then I also have some available in white, most people like to go with one of the more earth tone colors. They come with these little spikes that you can attach. Well, because you can figure that out. You wanna put them in the grass and, and stick them down. They'll sit like that. You don't have to because these lights will lay flat right on the ground just like that. You don't even have to worry about them. They'll even nestle into the grass if you're putting them around your house. But really what makes these so different um, in, in addition to the shape of them is the incredible light. These are super, super sensitive to the darkness. So these will turn on at dusk, unlike a lot of solar lights, which has to be pitch black before they go on. And these have what we call up lighting. So these are gonna accent any bit of your property, the plants, the, the house, the tree, the mailbox, wherever your pool, wherever you put them. And because there's nothing to plug in, you don't have to worry about any kind of electrical problems, like a, you know, near a swimming pool or your kids playing around wires. You don't have to worry about that. No digging, no trenching, lay them on the ground, sun charges them, sun goes down, lights come on, and they stay on when you're not home. So you have security built in as well. All right, Lou Caputo is sitting there going, is he ever going to shut up and let me talk? Now's your chance, go ahead, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, great to see you again. You too, buddy. <laughs>
<laughs> um, you know, these lights have been on fire, uh, and not literally, I mean figuratively. People have been buying these like crazy. And what's amazing about these is that Bell & Howell innovators in lighting technology have actually won Academy Awards for it. They've been around 110 years. When you look at this light here, or the square ones, whichever ones you're picking up today, what's really amazing about these are the LEDs themselves. These are what we call SMD LEDs, surface mount device LEDs. They kind of look like a little um, a chip and that's exactly what they are. They're like a little computer chip. So they're not straight up bulbs. Now what that allows you to do though is this. You can make them super, super thin. So these are also incredibly versatile because you can use them with the included stakes. You're gonna get a stake for every light that you buy or you can put them flat on a surface just like that. Or on the back of these, we have what we call the keyhole. And that's that little hole right there. So you can hang these on a nail or a screw. So that's you know entirely up to you, however you wanna use these. That's also an on off switch at the bottom right there. You're only ever gonna turn them on one time because they are self-regulating they'll go on at uh, dusk and turn themselves off at dawn it's a lot of great features on these and regardless of the color or the shape that you're buying guy these are all 304 stainless steel which means these are going to put up with the elements now i'm going to turn my lights off real quick here in the studio because i want you to see you know since you can't turn your lights off since wow. you're outside just take a look right here at how awesome these look i mean look at my shirt i I'm know i well, and, and Lou, uh, unlike regular, because uh, there are a lot of, there are other lights out there that have little LEDs, but usually they have four or six. These yep. are jam packed. And the light that and they give off is so beautiful. I mean, when, when you look at some of our footage that we shot with it, when you look at a house before and after, I mean, it's, it's, it's a total winner. The house looks amazing. People don't know that, that, you know, there's nobody home when the lights go on. They don't know that. They look and they say, okay, I'm gonna go to the dark house. It, it, it's the curb appeal is great. Your neighbors will thank you for it. The only oh, issue yeah. we have is people buy one, two, three, four sets of these and they sell out every single time. This is our That's last, hey, I, hey Lou, you got to be the last guy in the last item of our last gardening show of the season. Thank you. That's an honor. Thank you. You're, you're, it's an honorable position. But Lou, let's talk about how they work because literally all you do when you get them, you turn them on and then you never have to mess with them again, right? Yeah, that's it. You turn that switch on one time and then they self-regulate. On at dusk, off at dawn. So they'll stay on all night long. During the day, they just sit there and soak up that free energy from the sun and then they're ready to go. And the nice thing about these is that they are flush mount. So when you put them in the ground, they virtually disappear unless you mount them like that on their sides. Um, which you can do, you know, and you can use these vertically, you can use these horizontally. I love this idea, we do that at my house all the time. We use them on our outdoor furniture when we have company come over, I use them as coasters. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but look at that up lighting, that's the big wow. deal with these. And as I stand here, guy, look at this, I've got a staircase that is just fully illuminated yeah. all the way up to here. You know, I've got them on top of the railings here. I have them on the fence posts around my lake and it's absolutely gorgeous at night when you see that. How about this on the mailbox right here? We've got one mounted vertically. We've got a couple on the ground showing everybody where the mailbox is. Yep. Yes, don't hit it. And people don't realize this, but even the lights that are back here on my set that are in these alcoves, those are the disc lights as well. It's not some special lighting we have in our studio. That's the disc lights you're buying right now. I mean, yeah. that's what you can do with them. I, they can go anywhere, you know, and we, yeah. I love it. Lou actually uses them as coasters. Like Lou will keep a I couple do. outside and he charges them up. <laughs> then he brings them up and he puts his drink on it when he's inside. Cause remember you're gonna get eight to 10 hours of light out of these. Super sensitive monocrystal and panels built in, great lights on top. I mean, honestly, it's a no brainer. If you want to get a couple of sets, no issues. Let me go through colors while we got about a minute remaining. Um, in the round, I have them available in white. And then I also have them available in gold, stainless, bronze and black. If you want to get them in the square, the only ones I have left are, are the stainless. And they really, it doesn't really matter. It just depends on what's your favorite shape. <laughs> they all work the same. They have the same number of LEDs and they have all the same, uh, uh, the same properties. So you will love them. $29.95 gets you six of these. Order a couple of sets. Um, Lou, you're wonderful again. Thank you, my friend, for being, part of, my, being part of my gardening world, Lou. My pleasure, my friend, my pleasure. <laughs> we'll see you again next time. All right, All right. we are uh, gonna give you last call on these. Um, we still have the pressure washer available, the gardenias available. Um, you can go to hsn.com anytime if you missed out on something and check our shows. You know, we have our shows available uh, on Facebook as well. So if you missed anything, go ahead and grab it. Uh, let's take a walk over to our mailbox and check our mailbox for the last time this season. Hey guys, yeah, you've got mail. Appreciate that, let's see what's in here. You put spiders in here again? Lindsay, yes, she did. She put just not only spiders, spiders. 
There's a mini dinosaur in there. Another spider. I'm throwing that one at you. And my, ugh, look at that. It's fake. No. And finally, Tiny Torres. Yay, Tiny Torres. This is our mascot all year. Um, we'll probably give him another name next year. Uh, we don't know what to call him from season to season, but uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for shopping with me. Guy in the Garden, we're gonna be back in the fall uh, with our kind of our fall cleanup show. We're working on a name for that show and lots of other great things. I'll see you tomorrow morning. 7 a.m. Uh, for my show in the morning. That's clever. Now stay tuned for Alice. She's coming your way next. Find the answers at hsn.com. Search customer service to see our frequently asked questions. Use the search field to locate what you need. Want to know more? We're always here for you. Email, live chat, or call us. Customer service, anytime, anyway. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. Well, happy Friday to you, and we are kicking off Memorial Day weekend with a great